Chris Vigilante, and I'm here for my first video of my top 50 queer films, and we're starting off with Marco Berger's first big film, Plan B. Está bien vernos de vez en cuando, pero volver ni en pedo, nunca. No quiere volver. Entonces... Ahí pensé el plan B. No. Mentira. This is a film about a guy named Bruno. Bruno's ex-girlfriend Laura broke up with him for a new guy. The new guy's name is Pablo. Bruno wants to make a plan to come between Laura and Pablo. Plan A doesn't go the way that he wants it to, but Plan B doesn't really go the way that he expects it to either. But Plan B is that Bruno wants to seduce Laura's new boyfriend Pablo away from her. Yeah. Bruno comes up with this plan, and actually, when you think about that, like, it's like, what, who would come up with a plan like that? But when you're watching the film, it actually does make a lot of sense that he came up with that plan. I mean, the way that things kind of fell into place, the way he learned some things about her boyfriend, and it just made a lot of sense. And as for the film, it's a, it's a really lighthearted, nice film, but it also is very artful and very thought-provoking in different ways. Um, it really examines sexuality and the way that people's sexuality shifts because I think you see Pablo and Bruno's sexuality in the story shifting. Because um, as Bruno is getting closer to Pablo, he does start to question his sexuality and question if he's ever known himself, really, because he's thought himself completely as straight this entire time, and now he might be something else besides straight. He might be something else on the spectrum. Um, and you also, it also examines friendships and relationships in the story, um, relationships with each of them has with Laura and how that changes, um, their relationship with each other. You really get to see them becoming friends over the course of the film, and um, you get to see how easily they are talking to each other and different things like that. And I really, really like that as well, like way, the way that Marco Berger deals with relationships in his films, like not just this film, but his other films I've watched, is something that I really, really, really like a lot. Um, and another thing that I like about Marco Berger's films, but is kind of a warning for some people who are going into the film, is that there are these long sequences, maybe not that long, but there are these sequences in the film where there's not a lot happening. Really. Like, there's no dialogue and there's no action, but it'll, you'll, it'll be just seen where it's just like you're seeing the characters um, and they're waiting or they're sleeping or something that's natural, like something you would naturally happen, but in a, most films you just skip to the next bit of action or the next bit of dialogue. You won't really have then this film at times. And I like that because the actors in this film really knew how to emote and show emotions and so you can show, see the way that what they were thinking by the way their bodies were moving and their facial expressions and things like that. And so in those sequences, which were really beautiful and very artful at times, like from a film perspective, in those sequences you get to see um, a lot of emotions come out of those two actors. And so I really, really like that a lot. And I really, really like that about Marco Berger's film, but I really, really liked it in Plan B. So I wanted to mention that. Um, but yeah, this is a really lighthearted film. Um, it's a comedy drama, I'd say. There, I, th I thought there was a lot. The whole concept is really funny that like Bruno is going to come up with this plan to seduce his ex-girlfriend's boyfriend. It's a, fu it's a funny concept in, in itself, and it's something that I really, really enjoyed uh, when watching this film. All right, that's it for this first video of my top 50 queer films list. Um, you definitely should check out Plan B. It's a very light film, or just check out any film by Marco Berger. I really like his films a lot, and he has some films with some heavier topics than Plan B, um, and he has some films that are just very, very artful and beautiful. So definitely a director that I'd recommend as well. If you're new to my channel, I started off as just a booktube channel, then I add in talking about music on Friday with the Friday Five, which I have a playlist of all my Friday Five videos. It's a music series where you just talk about your favorite music. Um, and now I'm going to be doing this series where I talk about my favorite queer films. I kind of just do what I'm feeling like on my channel. And if you're new, I hope you subscribe and stick around for more of my content. And if you've been here before, I hope that you like this new series if you're watching it. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.